I'm Angela, and over the next few sessions, we're going to be together talking about you growing up, your body, its changes, and a lot more. And I think you're going to find it fascinating. Everything is based on love. And the person who loves us most of all is God. So let's start by asking him to help us to understand about it all. Dear Lord, I want to invite you to be with us as we talk together about growing up. Because you are the inventor of people. You are the one best able to understand us and help us to understand and love one another. So this is the newlywed couple here and they're showing their love for each other by lovemaking. Lovemaking just means making each other feel loved. How do you make a person feel loved? Well, you give them kisses and hugs and you hold them close. But between a man and a woman, it's a bit different. Because when they hold each other really close and give a long kiss and a warm hug, they tell each other that they're beautiful and everything like that. And they also have a bit of a laugh because they are the best of friends. And then something happens. In a very short time, because they're so close, the man feels his penis becoming erect, that's straight, hard, and the sperm coming down into it, like it did when he had a wet dream. Now, while the sperm is coming into the man's penis, the woman's body is getting ready to receive the sperm. It's amazing, you know, how God made it, because while they're making love and being happy together, the woman feels her vagina becoming kind of slippery inside so that the penis can easily slip in and out. No trouble. So he slips his penis into her vagina, gives her the sperm, then she has the sperm. Then the penis slips out and that's all. And that's called sexual intercourse. Some people call it having sex. So the man passes the sperm to the woman and now his sperm is in her. Maybe you're wondering if a mistake could be made and a man could pass water instead of semen and sperm when having sexual intercourse. But that can't happen because there's a valve which closes to stop the urine coming when sexual intercourse is taking place. Now, possibly you're saying to yourself, Oh, I'll never do that. It's awful. Because, you know, when you hear about it first, it sounds very strange. But God has made it really lovely, an exciting and pleasant feeling. 